Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Yunks. Today is Friday, and that means Zer is here in the tower. Now, I do not know what he has, but I do know where he is, so let's go check him out. What did he bring us last week? Pretty sure he brought a Zer's regime. So what can he possibly bring us this week? Let's just check him out. So he is going to bring us... Patience and time. All right. We will eventually get into this exotic sniper rifle, but let's start here with the Legacy Helmet Engram. This will cost you 29 strange coins, and this is for year one stuff only. So if you are looking for updated year three stuff, you could simply pass on this. Moving on to the Immolation Fist for the Titan. This comes with strength, and the main perk here grants explosive pyre. So this perk is pretty much when you kill an enemy with Hammer of Soul, they will explode into a fiery, fiery burst of damage and like explode all enemies around them or something like that. So this is paired with Flame Seeker. So then you get Flame Seeker and Explosive Pyre if you are running Immolation Fist. And... Okay, here's the thing though. In PvE, Explosive Pyre is very, very good. But you don't necessarily need Flame Seeker. And um, in PvP, Flame Seeker is pretty decent. But Explosive Pyre is just very situational. It can be decent. It can definitely be very good if you throw it on a zone and control. And there's a ton of enemies on that zone. And then they just all explode into a fiery burst of damage. I don't know. See, in that situation, these would be very good. But you're not always going to get that situation. So for that reason, I would say there are more solid exotic armors that you can run out there for your Titan. It's decent if you want to run Hammer of Soul. It's not bad, but it's definitely not top tier. Moving on to Crest of Apalupi for the Hunter. This comes with Intellect and the main perk here. Supers generate an extra orb. Revive and be revived faster. So this is what I usually run in Trials of Osiris. Usually me and my team will run like one or at least one, maybe two if we can, of these fast revive exotic armors for our characters. Uh, very nice when it comes to threes and PvP. Um, if you are not interested in threes or Trials of Osiris um, in PvP, then you could probably pass on this. But yeah, it... it there are definitely better exotic armors out there in PvE. And also in PvP, if you're just doing sixes, you don't really need this in those situations. But definitely threes, if you're interested, pick this up for your hunter. It definitely can come into handy. Come into handy? Come in handy. <laughs> Moving on to Warlock Void Fang Vestments. This comes with Discipline and Strength. And the main perk here, Spawn with Full Grenade Energy. And Axiom Bolts gain additional Seeker. So this is not specific to Voidwalker subclass. This can be ran on a Sunsinger with Gift of the Sun. And you can spawn with two full grenades every single time. Which is very, very nice. This is a very, um, very decent exotic armor for PvP. Uh, I probably would not run this in PvE. If you're looking for a pretty decent armor to run in PvP, you probably could buy this. Um... So every time you spawn, you will get those grenade energies. If you're running Gift of the Sun on a Sun Singer, you will get two. And yeah, this is a po this is a pretty popular choice. I see this in Trials of Osiris a decent amount of times. I'll see them. I'll see warlocks running this with Axiom bolts or even uh, two fusion grenades on the Sun Singer subclass. So uh, pretty decent exotic armor. There are better exotic armors out there for the. A warlock but if you don't have a top tier one yet and you're looking for a pretty decent one on your warlock for pvp you probably should get this it's pretty nice moving on to our patience and time the exotic sniper rifle let's take a look at this thing third eye i think it's the only sniper that has third eye i could be wrong but I, I think it is i think it is so very unique right there custom optics fitted stack field scout and patience and time you gain active camo while aiming down the sights. So very unique once again. So this sniper literally allows you to just sit back, kind of relax, and gives you some time to get your headshots. You can just be patient. Literally, this weapon, the sniper rifle, gives you patience and time to get your headshots. Uh, pretty nice sniper rifle. I wouldn't say it's top tier whatsoever. It's pretty nice. It's pretty fun. But other than that, you probably could pass. <laughs> Okay, moving on to our uh, weapon ornaments here. We have Prototype and Iconoclast. Yeah, I said that right. So Prototype is for Truth and Iconoclast is for Invective. Too bad we cannot inspect 
fees. I say that in every video. Moving on to our glass needles. This will cost you three straight, uh, yeah, three strange coins, three motes of light, and one exotic shard. This will change and alter your perks on your exotic armor. So let's say you want discipline, but you have strength on your exotic armor. Keep rolling glass needles until you get that discipline. And let's say you have uh, sidearm ammo, but you want sniper ammo. Keep rolling glass needles until you get your perfect roll. Moving on to three of coins. Let's go ahead and purchase a few of these like I do all the time. And I will go ahead and pop one. Now, I'm sure most of you already know this, but just in case somebody is new, uh, they will now know how to use three of, three of coins properly. So go ahead and use that. Go over here. Now you have exotic particles. Grants a chance to receive an exotic engram on the next ultra kill or crucible match completion. That is win or lose for a PvP. So usually I'll pop this every other PvP match or before every boss and every strike. And that is how I farm my exotic engrams. Of course, it is not they are not guaranteed to drop. It's just a chance. So moving on to our heavy ammo synths. This will cost you one strange coin for three heavy ammo synths. This is actually not a bad deal considering Banshee 44 in the tower will charge you 950 glimmer. It's very expensive and it adds up very quickly. So if you're looking, if you're big into PvE activities like raids and nightfalls, I would go ahead and stock up on some heavy ammo synths. Moving on to our vehicle upgrades, we have Stealth Drive and Emerald Coil. This will change a blue rarity sparrow into a legendary sparrow and also change the contrail color on it. So we have like a pinkish here and a green here. These are very unique. So if you want to be a little bit different, I guess you could go ahead and pick one of these up and infuse it with your blue sparrow. I just don't see these very often. Moving on to the mode of light exchange. This will cost you two strange coins for one mode of light. So... If you want to grind up those factions, I guess you always have this exchange here for you. Get those extra motes. If you have some extra strange coins lying around and you don't mind using them on some motes, then I guess this is always here for you. If you want to get those factions up or just simply level up your armor, gear, whatever. And that's pretty much going to be it for Zer this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.